going on so what I thought I would show you is my chili hot dog chili recipe and we my aunt used to make this um, they owned a in Kentucky they owned a little general store or something and pool hall half would be the pool hall half would be the store and then she would sell hot dogs to the guys playing pool so this is her chili recipe kind of bumped up a little bit I don't think she put garlic in there or anything like that and this is not like a thick Coney Island chili. There's a place over by us, it's called the chicken. And it's not the chicken. The people will say, you know that chicken place? And I'm like, no, you mean the chicken? And they still have car hops. So this is kind of that type of um, hot dog chili. So what you do is you take the hamburger and you just put it in there. And here's the funny thing. You don't cook the hamburger first. You put everything in one pot, and then that gets the hamburger really soft, so you're not getting big chunks of hamburger in there. And I have onions and garlic here, just some small onions, a couple small onions, right in here. I have chipotle chili, I have regular chili powder, and some Hungarian paprika. And I'm sure she did not use chipotle chili powder or Hungarian paprika, but I do. And then I just add in tomato sauce. And what I do is I make this and I freeze it. And then I have, I freeze it in little containers and I have chili whenever I want it for the summer. So I make a big batch. I'll make it downsized for you guys because nobody I'm sure loves hot dog chili like I do. Then you just put it in here and you mix it around. You break up the hamburger as it's cooking. I have my trusty little um, thing that I got from one of those at-home cooking parties, and I love it, and it's great for cook doing up the hamburger. Now what I'll do, I don't have to add any water to this. I just let it cook for mm, a couple hours, maybe an hour and a half. The more you cook it, the less the tomato gets out, and it, you don't need sugar with it, so it's not usually with a tomato thing I'll add sugar or I'll add butter but this cooks for a while there's no butter no sugar just hamburger and what I showed you some salt I'll put in here and some pepper and that's it so now I'm just going to stir it around let it cook and when you dice your onions you want to make sure that they're very finely diced you don't want big chunks of onion in your chili so what I'm going to do is let this cook for a while, and we'll go from there, all right? We'll be back when this is done. All you have to do is keep stirring it, keep an eye on it, and make sure nothing happens to it, okay? So it is done. See how thick it is, and see how small the chili, the meat is in the chili. See how small the meat is in the chili? You want it that thick. Now when you first do it, you're going to think that there is not enough tomato sauce in there to make this chili but there is you don't want a lot this is not runny see nice and thick you can see some of the onions but it's not big chunks of onions now I'm just gonna put it on a hot dog remember this big pot I'm just going to put in little bags freeze it and every time we want chili I've got chili and it is so good to have homemade chili versus that can or the stuff that comes in the tube. It's just not the same. Here's my hot dog. First one of the summer. Not even summer yet, but my first one. My first chili. As I'm talking, my mouth is watering. Mm. 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 That chipotle chili, that chipotle chili adds a little of the smokiness to it. So even if you didn't grill your hot dogs, you're getting the smokiness. This is like the chicken. Oh, it is so wonderful. I was not born when my aunt had the pool hall slash store, so I don't know what hers was like, but I've tasted it when I went down to Indiana. So this to me just screams 
home. I swear, it is the best. So make sure you make a pot of this and you freeze it and then you'll have chili all summer long. All right, now remember, if you want this recipe, go to www.justinthekitchen.com and what are you gonna do? You are going to like me on Facebook and share me on Facebook, but you are going to subscribe to YouTube and you are going to ring the little bell, all right? <laughs> Thanks a lot. Have a great summer, everybody. God bless. Bye.